<laughs> so, uh, I, I guess today I wanted to talk about Call of Duty um, in the recent discussion about the meta, what the meta is, the and like, how we cannot have a clusterfuck like we've been having for like the last six months because of the Cold War migration. Um, I guess first things first, um, Amex, um, hits a little harder than, you know, maybe it should, um, but community seems kind of split, whether it needs a nerf, whether it doesn't, personally, I, I think it's fine where it is, um, it's strong, but it doesn't feel overtly strong, like the Fafar, the DMR, or the AUG, um, you know, it, it just, I think it, like, it's on the who sees who first, which generally not what you want in like a battle royale. But this is Call of Duty. Usually, that's how most gunfights are won. You see somebody first, you light them up, they run away, you outplay them by you know, cutting them off, and you kill. You know. Um, uh, so I guess we're not really sure what's gonna happen to the mix, but you know, looks like people are saying he needs to do one less bullet to kill, which takes his TTK down, um, but I more wanted to talk about why people are adamantly defending what is, by all means, like technically a broken gun um, that's on the level of the Fafar. I think it has a lot to do with uh, sentimentality and how Modern Warfare 2019 brought in a lot of people back to COD, it brought people into COD for the first time, and how Warzone was a lot of people's first battle royale, and their first fray into the Call of Duty experience, you know? Um, so, um, I got, and so, like, you know, you have people that feel, like, passionate and connected to something, you know? <laughs> like, um... Uh, like that, you know, we are like, oh man, I love this game, I love the things in this game, I don't ever want to stop playing this game, you know, to have it, every single weapon from that game is effectively be knocked out of the meta, from like the usable to the why would you use this category, um, effectively overnight, it's kind of like sad in a way. But I guess the real thing is like we shouldn't really be getting attached to any gun from any Call of Duty in Warzone, because um, eventually it will just be not nerfed out, but phased out. You know, like um, the Ram Seven, right? Good gun. You know, a good TTK. You know, it's a uh, got some nice damage range on it. Let's you know. The sniper support, but why would why would you run it over the XM4? You know, you get a uh, slightly slower TTK, you get bigger mag, and you can move as fast as a rabbit on coke. You know, um, <laughs> which is uh, kind of like the issue with the Cold War guns now. Uh, assault rifles can be made to move like SMGs or even faster, and this isn't just like outside of combat. This is like the ADS speed, which has always been kind of wonky, um, but like the Modern Warfare guns, which is why there's a lot of bunny hopping and sliding and, you know, trying to outmaneuver your opponents, because you generally have, like, the same straight speed, um, for all intents and purposes, like, you know, like two MP5 users meet, you know, whoever bunny hops or gets like a nice slide so the opponent misses their shots or they get a nice little drop shot that's who's going to generally win those engagements and um, with Cold War it's like you know the the Modern Warfare MP5 kills faster than the MAC-10 but you know if I can outmaneuver you with the MAC-10 maybe I moving faster by strafing in a full circle around you while you're trying to shoot me you know, or, or just like being able to like reposition faster, you know, 
Like we're fighting um, outside like, the airport buildings, you know, right? You like all right, you, I we shoot each I'm on top, you're on the bottom, you, you got your MP5, I got my Mac 10. You know, I you tag me a little bit, I tag you a little bit, I think I wanna lose, I disengage. You know, you try and push the bottom and then, you know, by the time you've reached the bottom, I'm halfway down the stairs. And I'm played it just enough that I can now beam you. You know, like it, no, like with a modern warfare gun, I would like you know we'd get there at roughly the same time because I ha but because I have that cold war gun, I can just zoom, like you know really fast. And it's not that this hasn't always been an issue; it's just that now it's becoming to the forefront, or it's coming to the forefront. Um, like, th this is, like, a big reason why, you know, the double AR meta is here to stay, I think, yeah, at least until they nerf it, nerf it, or nerf the movement. Um, at least, shit, I don't know. They said it's upcoming, but I'm guessing like, mid-season patch, like, two weeks or so. Um, maybe sooner, I don't know. Raven seems to be trying to get on the ball with the patching the metas and stuff. Um, but... Who, who's to really say, you know? Um, but, you know, part of, like, the Fafar's thing was, like, you could sacrifice recoil and, um, like, recoil control for generally getting, like, faster movement speed. Like, the Raider stock and, like, the Bruiser foregrip, I think, were what you used to just make it an absolute monster. Because takedown and the agency suppressor would just, you know, give you the damage range, full velocity. And you didn't need to have it like reach out and touch people you know you can just like uh slap the mag the raider the bruiser and now you're like moving faster than sonic you know and um that movement allowed it to effectively along with this ttk allowed it to effectively muscle out the smgs on the turf and you're kind of seeing the same thing with the fara um like there's faster guns right um but I don't think they're going to necessarily become the meta. Because I, I don't think Raven's going to let them become a meta. Um, but you know, pretty much all Cold War assault rifles have this potential, you know? But the fire isn't even like the fastest TDK, just like, it's just a beam. And so you, you can put more attachments that focus on ADS speed and movement and build it like an SMG and you're, you're good to go, you know? Um, but this problem isn't just like limited to the Cold War assault rifles. Like, the SMGs also have it, and <laughs> um, I feel like they're not being talked about as much because their TTKs are a little higher, you know, with like higher in 500s to like 600 ish, you know. Um, but they also kind of have this ability, and they kind of. Like, you know, you're gonna have like the same thing with like the movement and trace speed, you know, it's like why would you use the Okay, you're never going to use the Modern Warfare Uzi unless you're using the forty one eighty rounds, but like you just just I get it, I get it. Just, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like you're not gonna use the regular Uzi over the Milano because like you're you, <laughs> it's like you're not gonna be using like the like um a fucking AK-74U from Modern Warfare against, like, the Cold War one. Or, I guess, a more apt comparison is, um, like, you're not going to be using, uh, like, the Modern Warfare MP5 over the Cold War MP5. Because it's just, like, the MP Cold War MP5 has better attachments, and it's, like, um, <laughs> you're, you're literally putting yourself at like a handicap by using the Modern Warfare MP5 because you don't have access to that straight speed, that movement speed, that ADS movement speed, that sprinting speed, like you're, you're just at an insane disadvantage. And it's, I, I feel like most of this comes down to Warzone being a uh, smash success and them not planning for it. Because um, there's no uniformity in how the attachments work between Cold War and Modern Warfare, you know? Modern Warfare is like, hey, you can turn your assault rifle into an SMG, but it's, there's a lot of downsides. In 
called her, I was like, hey, you can turn your assault rifle into SMG, and that's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, which I think comes down to like different philosophy, fit different philosophies, excuse me, between the different developers and like what their idea for a Call of Duty game is or what attachments should be. And I feel like going forward, like either the devs or like, like somebody has to set out a, a list of like these are what the attachments should be doing. And like try and keep them all uniform between games, but sometimes it's just not going to be possible. You know, it's like uh, you know, this new cold, this new Call of Duty is supposed to be fucking World War Two. Like, how do you make a Thompson into like an assault rifle? Is that even possible? I don't know. Do you want to? Who the fuck knows? Like, I, how do how do you do attachments for guns that are like older than the people working on it? You know. Then you also, like, okay, what happens after this is, like, maybe we get Modern Warfare 2, right? But what happens if, like, Treyarch wants to go back to the future, you know? Do more, like, Black Ops 2 kind of stuff. Like, how, how are you going to do the weapons then, you know? Because now we start getting into, like, weapons that don't exist. So, <laughs> it's like, I, I feel like they're needs to be more discussion about what exactly a Call of Duty game is now that Warzone Enemy is supposed to you know, post a child for like all Call of Duty games and like, that discussion also needs to be about like what attachments should be like but um, I, I feel like it's a little too late to really be having that discussion and the issues are running into with the Cold War integration and I think we will continue to see Pro Black at least until season four. Because um, right now the people are focused on the ARs, but nobody's really talking about SMGs. Like they're gonna nerf the Bullfrog, but like the Bullfrog isn't like, crazy damage and it has good trace speed. But there's like two or three other SMGs from Cold War that you know are just as good. They're like comparable to the Bullfrog. And then after that, you know, let's focus on the sniper rifles, you know. Uh, still, after like, what, five months, it's still no glint scopes, and the scopes are better than the Modern Warfare ones. So, um, you don't like it? I, I kind of foresee a car nerf coming to its like ADFs, because, I mean, that's pretty much all it has right now. And it's used by a lot of people, and they're kind of cracking down on guns that a lot of people used, even if they're not, like, overtly broken. Um, and once that happens, you know, people are just gonna no blink, uh, fucking Swiss, whatever the fuck. Anyway, <laughs> um, thank you for, uh, coming to my TED Talk. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe for more, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah.